Ah, hello folks and welcome back to Marvelous India as the Kalinga Ganja Dynasty. We have just taken over England in the name of our uh, relative um, who is married, or was married, to our brother. She has camp fever right now and is wounded. Don't know if she'll last very long, but it's under our control now, so even if she has rebellions and stuff, we can step in and stop it. Uh, and uh, otherwise, we're just, I think we're just going to attack Ireland and Scotland and conquer all of Britain and get get that British achievement uh, where we hold the Empire of Britain as a Hindu. And then we're going to do the, the one thing that we are missing, which is take Constantinople and Rome and convert it to uh, an Eastern religion. So we're definitely uh, very close now to the end. I think I'll attack Galloway here so that we can get the crossing to the rest of Ireland. And uh, yeah, let's go. See, I figured out um, a while ago, a couple episodes ago, about the, the whole conversion thing. Secret societies, of course we can burn people from secret societies. Uh, but it seems like we are unlikely to burn people that are of... Like Taoists, we can kind of burn, I think. I don't know if they count as an Eastern religion. They should, maybe. But I know that Jains and uh, Buddhists are kind of hard, hard to actually get rid of. Uh, because they can convert without it, you know, causing a lot of problems in the realm. And uh, that is probably why uh, we have such a problem. Oh my god, this is so annoying. You know what? Yeah, you go convert that holy site. I just hate when the... It just looks so bad. Like, stop. Stop converting, please. Albany is next. Let's go. Ah, we've gotten the Nail of the Cross. Let's see. Let me open that again, because normally it takes a while. Oh, there it is. Ah, quality three. Well, that's interesting. Don't really care. Oh, no! My son and heir died uh, of chest pains. At least my next, the next heir is actually also a genius of the same mother, so that's good at least. And he's younger, of course, so we'll have him f play it with him longer. Also, I do realize I'm over the vassal limit and I'm old, uh, which is dangerous, but I don't really... This is the thing. The only thing I can do at this moment to actually lower that... Because I can't transfer any vassal to anyone, which is really, 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 really bothering me. But otherwise, the only thing I can do is to maybe pass uh, Council Empowerment Laws. I think that will give me plus five vassal limit the moment I pass that. Oh, actually there are a couple of counties here that I can uh, move around that apparently went independent. Ooh, glorious monument in my capital. Sounds great. It's not a great wonder though. I wonder why this... This thing even exists, because obviously I already have a palace there. Uh, but it gives me prestige, so I'll say yes. Oh no, the Queen of England is secretly a Taoist faithful. Uh, I'm not actually going to burn her. Let her go free. Because, you know, after all, I've been... <laughs> my entire... the Half of my life now has been devoted to giving her titles, basically. So, I'm not going to put that at risk. My genius daughter, an apostate... No. Can't be. Ah, the Kingdom of Estonia. Let's usurp that. And, uh... Oh. Scotland's over here. Interesting. We'll give it to her again. Grant line the title. Kingdom of Estonia. Congratulations. Ah, excellent. Usurp the Kingdom of Scotland. And... Right, title loss in succession. I don't care, because I'm going to give that away to you again. Congratulations. Oh, you want to convert to Hindu. Sure, that's cool. Oh, look at that. We can create the Empire of Britannia. Let's do that. I think that will probably not give me the achievement. I think I actually have to hold every single title. But, uh, yeah. At least now we're double emperors. Uh, at least temporarily. I wonder. Ooh, nice flower there. Oh, hey, I did actually get the achievement. Fantastic. That means we can, uh, 
I mean, I'd love to clean the borders here, but that's a whole other process. So I am going to get some ships, get my troops on here, and uh, get ready to do some other stuff. I want to consolidate Egypt before we actually attack Byzantium and Rome, mostly because right now it's like a flurry of different titles, but once uh, the actual kingdom is gone, we can actually usurp that. Let's uh, build a harbor office in our new harbor here. Oh, here we go. I was about to say that um, the former Queen of England died, and then Scotland and England were split up between her children, uh, one of which we started plotting to murder, but it seems I have also gone ahead and passed away at age 69. Died a natural death, uh, known to have stained his hands in the blood of his own kin, surely paying for his crimes in the afterlife. Alright, so... We have Bimasena, uh, renowned man, dignitaries from far and wide will surely bow before him. Fantastic, let's pause here and uh, just take a look, make sure that we are going to kill this little child here. Actually, no, let's not do that first. Let's make sure that everyone likes us first. My father deserves a sky burial. Let's do that. Summon the council. I'm 26. Hello? Should I really be thinking about death this soon? Not that this wouldn't be realistic uh, for me personally, but like... Really? I'm gonna send my, um, my spy master. Alright, I'm gonna kill the boy king here, so that we get one vassal less, and it's all under England instead. Hopefully, it all works out. Please, work out. Please, please, please. Okay, wait. What is this? Pay for this guy, it's 2,000, sure. Ah, uh, failure. Alright, well, whatever. My sister, an apostate? Nah. My family member and friend? Again, sorry, can't say yes. And... dead. Excellent. So now, we should have one united English kingdom there. Oh, Estonia. Hello? Why are you independent? Huh. You should also die. Cleopatra appears. Alright, let me, uh... Cleopatra, where are you? There you are. Are you real? Probably not, I think. Because learning has to be over 10. The intrigue is right because we chose the intrigue. But yeah, when we get the opportunity, we're gonna kill her. My daughter, we'll name her after... My great 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 grandfather or grandmother? Yeah, my great grandfather's grandmother. The Crusaders have taken Sicily. It's because also uh, the Sunnis had a yihad for Sicily just like a couple of years ago. They took that and then the Crusades started. Uh, very interesting. So now the Pope holds that, which is a pain because obviously we're going to be fighting the Pope uh, soon enough and the more land he has. The stronger he is, even though, of course, he's strong naturally just by the fact that he gets money from all over the world. Oh, finally, someone defeated Egypt, and uh, we can go ahead and do this. Uh, now, there was a particular duchy here that was my favorite. I just don't remember which. I don't think it was you. I think it was you here. Yes. Can't land the title, Kingdom of Egypt, congratulations. And uh, let's take a look. Why are you fighting? Oh, Ooh, right, we hold Petra. Uh, I'm gonna restore that. So instead of attacking the Byzantines in a holy war for Thrace, I'm gonna actually just do a border conquest for their capital, the marvelous Constantinople. Um, yeah, I don't see why I shouldn't only 200 karma, 2,000 gold, and, uh, then, I mean, they have 70,000 troops or something, we'll just shuffle a bunch of troops to the area, deal with the problem, and, uh, have it done with. Oh, rest in peace, Byzantine army, if that's all you have. Constantinople, thank you very much, is now mine.
In order to convert provinces faster, I'm actually going to join the Hindu society here. Because once we are at uh, this level here, we can use 500 or 1,000 points uh, and convert counties immediately. Of course, I'm going to try to convert it with my uh, Upadhyaya. I totally butchered everything there again. But, you know, uh, it's always good to have a backup. Oh, hey, Constantinople already converted. That's fantastic stuff. Uh, so I'm just gonna put you back to burning people. Now, let's see, fabricate claims, let's put it on Rome, because the thing is, I don't actually have any border around there, and I would have to... I'd basically have to fight the HRE uh, to actually get somewhere, but first I'd have to like actually push through Sardinia to go all the way there. So we're gonna start trying to fabricate a claim on Rome itself, and then uh, once we convert that, will be all good. There is that other achievement that I've been thinking of uh, getting whilst we're playing Hindu, and that's stomping the Pope or the Caliph. Uh, the Caliphate has moved over to uh, Spain here, and uh, we could hopefully maybe just land an army, see if we can capture him prisoner by raiding, but it doesn't seem super likely. Same thing goes for the Pope. But, uh, yeah, we're going to start with the Caliph. Oh, this is interesting. So, the Emperor of Byzantium has gone Catholic. Uh, and his heir is Jewish. Uh, I wonder... And then there's a second... Well, I don't know, heir and heir, right? Because the Byzantine Empire is an elective system here. But everyone else is Catholic. Well, there's a Orthodox here and there. Oh man, look at the amount of daughters I've had with my wife. Six already. Oh, so we got an artifact, apparently a rusty ancient sword uh, that was owned by someone important. I, I imagine that's probably some sort of lie. Let's take a look. Ah, ancient rusty weapon, quality one. Yeah, terrible. Uh, now only fit for display. Yeah, but we don't even know who owned it. Ooh, so a long time ago, many, many generations ago, we found this strange chest that we couldn't really open. Uh, in, oh, many? Wait, only, no, it can't have been just 10 years ago. I think it was in the 1100s we actually got it, anyway. Uh, oh no, this is one we inherited as a person, right. So it was in the 1100s, and now we found a key, we think. Let's find out. Uh, so there's ten gold in it. Just nothing. Trinkets. That was sad. Uh, so that's not there anymore. Ah, oh, a son. Let's, uh, let's ex make him the heir. Well, we can't just, it's just the way it is, unfortunately. Is he a genius? No, he's not a genius. Damn it. Yes, excellent. We have a claim on Rome, and we will use it to the best of our ability. I'm just going to finish raiding uh, one last province here. I know we're not getting money, I'm just trying to capture uh, the king. It's, very, it's extremely, extremely, extremely unlikely, but I'm still trying, you know. Here we go! Uh, oh, right. Nearby Catholic rules will probably join. This might be a pain. We might lose, but, you know, whatever. Because if we offer peace... 9,000 gold... Yeah, that's unlikely to happen, but we'll see. Oh, they're actually going to do it. They're going to take me from a crossing. Absolutely insane. Rome has fallen, and uh, they will accept peace. Enforce demands. Fantastic stuff. We are, of course, going to hold Rome for ourselves here. And uh, immediately send our converter man to convert. Oh, right, this is a temple. God damn it. Okay. Uh, we'll give it away to someone. What about. Yeah, I'll give it away to you here. Actually, no, I don't know. I'll give it away to a family member? Question mark? I don't know. Alright, I am a uh, 
at the highest level now, almost a basically a guru, right? And <clears throat> now I only need a thousand devotion to make sure this thing converts. Let's see if we have anything, anyone with higher. No. Nope. Here we go. We're at the very end. I mean, it's very laggy. Uh, as we approach the end here, I think we have way too many characters going on, and my computer is actually a, quite a beast, so it should be able to handle this no problem, but for some reason, late game CK2 is just uh, still kind of a pain, even after a lot of optimization. I mean, I was really looking forward to uh, executing the Pope by stomping uh, an elephant, or yeah, having him stomped by an elephant. But yeah, I think we're we're actually gonna probably wrap this up as soon as we convert Rome, and get the achievement, because uh, the Pope, Pape, and Caliph thing it's it's a little bit too random. Uh, so I mean, it, it, first of all, it's very hard to actually capture a uh, Pope or a Caliph, and then secondly, it's actually random which kind of execution method uh, that actually gets assigned to whoever you're executing, so you, I'd have to like restart and do a bunch of stuff even after capturing the Pope. So we are probably just, you know, gonna settle for the conversion. And even though I hate actually wrapping up in the, the um, on an uneven number of episodes, I think that's also gonna be the case. What should we go for? Let's go... Uh, it doesn't really matter at this point. Alright, here we are. Rome, convert county, kaboom should now be Hindu. Look at that. And the achievement just popped up for me. What schism? Uh, convert Rome and uh, Constantinople to the same religion. Uh, Hindu religion. And uh, yeah, look at that. Look at our empire. I mean, it is... Uh, it's beautiful, actually. I mean, and we still have more than 100 years left. Uh, although, obviously... Uh, we've played for so long and we started at such an early date that the map is just an absolute mess wherever we go. Even, I, I know, I hate doing this, and I actually would never have done this uh, if it wasn't an achievement. You know, jumping just straight to Britain, even though we don't really have anything in between. But, I got the achievement, which is, I'm happy about. So as I was saying, I think that will actually have to be... The wrap up of this uh, the series, unless uh, everyone can comment down below, and you know, there's a giant riot saying that I should continue. I will continue if people uh, really want it. But I think we we've, we've done what we we came for. We started off as a small uh, count or duchy, I think uh, that was it. We formed Arissa, took over Bengal, uh, united India in like basically one ruler, but uh, it actually took two more for us to. To uh, formally unite India, then we push through the Middle East here uh, into Africa, and uh, now towards the end we actually took Britain first, and then we went for Constantinople and Rome there, which uh, was very nice. And we also fought off China, which was very very different. I mean, normally I always play in Western Europe, Northern Europe, and stuff. So playing this region, very exciting, very different. Fighting China. To be honest, a little bit of a pain. Uh, we almost lost there if it wasn't for the battles that kept us above uh, minus 100%. But yeah, we won in the end, which I guess makes it all worthwhile. So if we resign here, our score is magnificent, almost 300,000. Which, I mean, the score thing I never really understood. But yeah, I mean, three times the capes, so I guess that's great. Uh, and let's take a look at our ruler. So yes, we had... One that only ruled for two years. I don't remember him. Our very first one. Then 16 years. Uh, six years. And then we formed the kingdom with Govinda here after uh, whoever that was. I can't really pronounce any of these names, to be honest. And I'm very sorry for that. Uh, I guess that's the downside of playing in an area where I don't speak the language. So then Govinda Jahagir ruled for quite a while. And then Dig... Dig Bahanja, the old, ruled for 41 years. Uh, Govindo ruled for 40, uh, 58, I think he had the record. Oh no. The Grand Patriarch, the, the one who actually united India, ruled for 59 years. 
Uh, I think we might have one ruler that actually ruled even longer, but I'm not sure. Nirvarma, second. Nirvarma, the magnanimous. Uh, oh, right. He didn't. This one didn't unite India. I think he almost did, and then we went down, and then Intravarma the Magnanimous was actually Intravarma the Third, who united India proper. He actually formed Bengal and then went south. Intravarma the Second was his son who fought off a civil war very quickly and then died, and then only his father or his son was the one who who took over and uh, actually finished the job. Uh, then the Magnificent, I don't remember what he did. Mm, I don't remember what most of these did, to be honest, but I think here we were pushing into uh, Persia. Actually, first we went all the way to Big Baghdad before we took most of Persia. Uh, Kalua, the Hideous. Ah, we had uh, Truck um, Indravarma the Great as well, again. And then we had our only female ruler in this entire campaign. Uh, Dandi Miha Devi, the gentle. She was pretty good. She died quite early, though. Uh, and then we had Kalua the tenacious, uh, Chakravartin the cruel, Kalua the strong. And now at the very end, uh, he's not dead yet, but uh, Bimessa the butcher, who actually took Rome and Constantinople. So that's that. Some people have asked me if I'm, I sh could do a grand campaign, so convert to E4 and then Victoria 2 with this save, but obviously we're still like a hundred years away from even getting to the conversion point, and we are honestly, I, like I love the idea of conversion and I have played it sometimes, but the problem is that we're just too big, and of course I can split it up and, you know, have fun that way, but... I don't know. I think we've we've done enough with this save, and um, if we're actually going to play a conversion, I think I have to set up some sort of scenarios or some rules uh, in how I play so that we don't actually snowball like that, uh, and we uh, rather create a scenario rather than an, an actual, oh, we're going to conquer the world thing. Uh, so, no. But if you do want to continue seeing this particular playthrough and, you know, there's a lot of support, just... Leave a comment down below, show me your support for continuing this series. Otherwise, I think we're just going to move on to something new. Don't know what that is yet, maybe some Im Imperator, now that the new updates are out. Or something else, who knows. But uh, thank you so much for joining me in this journey. This has been Game Gavster. I hope to see you in future videos. Farewell.